What is a drippy nose and also fatigue and sometimes a sore throat? What do those all have in common? Well, it's allergies and also cold and flu season. And so we need to talk about that here today. Hi, I'm Dr. Murray here at Murray Natural Integrated Health here in Hastings, Nebraska, doing a short video here for you today. And allergies, seasonal allergies, we know that there's a connection between that and also kind of seasonal infections, cold and flu season. So let's talk a little bit about allergies and also things that we can do about it. Some things to kind of help your immune system. So when you talk about allergies, there's three basic types of allergies. There's your IgE histamine type allergies, which you would commonly associate with uh, dust and ragweed and cat and dander and dog dander, all those kinds of things. And then you have two other types of allergies, IgG and IgA reactions. Now, there's lots of other um, smaller types or less, uh, less studied and less dealt with type, type reactions, but those are the three most common. The IgG and IgA reactions tend to be more delayed and they may have to do with more like food related type allergies. And that's the kind of test we do here quite often here. But your histamine allergies, your IgE allergies, those things, <clears throat> your body finds dust, ragweed, pollen, uh, cat dander, any type of protein. If your immune system is sensitive to it, you'll make these IgE antibodies, place those flags on bad guys in your system, what your body perceives as a bad guy. And then you will, your other white blood cells will come around, look for those IgE flags and create this histamine reaction, which is the reaction that we have when we have the drippy nose, um, uh, you know, watery eyes, all those types of symptoms. <clears throat> the connection here is this. When you have irritated mucosal membrane in your sinuses, in your nasal passageways, it, they're flared up, they're inflamed, cracked, uh, they're, they're upset, they're more susceptible to having different infectious organisms come into them and violate your body, and it sets up or predisposes you towards having an actual seasonal infection. Cold and flu season times, especially during these colder times, it's starting to get less humid, the mucosal membranes within your nose, they also get dry, more dry and brittle, and there again increases the risk. That's why you create mucus, is to create a, a more hospitable, a more healthy environment for your body. You need a certain type of humidity within your nasal passageway. So you create mucus, you create kind of a drippy nose when you go outside in the cold. Unfortunately, with that kind of dry and, and uh, dry mucosal membrane, that creates, again, an, a hospitable environment for bacteria to come in, bacteria and viruses. So there is a connection between those two. 